All right, what I've done, if you'll notice, in the interest of time, during break, and actually during like the last three minutes of break, I already sketched out where I wanted the trees. I roughed in where I'm going to put my skyline. Again, I just did this freehand to get a rough idea. And I put in a curved line for my background stripe. I put in some lower vegetation here, and I have a tree here. Now, I guess the first thing I would do in this one is I would get the trees done that are in front of the building in particular, just so that I don't inadvertently draw through them. So I'm going to go ahead. There's that one. I got this little fella here. And I'm mainly just getting the outside of it. I'm not worried about the trunk at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and So I've got all the ones in front of the building, and as long as I'm on a roll, I might as well just put in the one behind the building, too. But I, I did those, again, I first I sketched it on the original so I knew where all the elements were. And I mainly wanted to get this tree in and these trees in so when I'm going ahead and drawing the building, I don't inadvertently draw through the trees. Now that that's done, I'm going to go through, I'm going to look for my angled lines. So that tree came in handy because I'm going to do my circles. Two circles, that's enough to upset me. Get these angles down. And 
Now, what I'll do a fair amount of time, I'll put my pen at the start of a line and then I'll slide my triangle up to it. Remember, I'm doing these overlaps. Okay, I've got my angled lines in. Now I'm going to go for my horizontal lines. Got a little carried away. It'll be all Again, don't have to be, I mean, I want to be kind of accurate, but if I'm a little off, it's not the end of the world. Most of them there. Oops. And there's one that's going to go there. Not going to bother doing the bottom line yet because that's going to want to be a big fat line. And I'm not even going to. No point in doing it twice. Now, I, in theory, I could do the profile line of the building first as opposed to drawing it thin and then drawing over it, but. I'm, I don't want to mess up, so I'm going to go ahead and just draw it in thin first. Whoops. That should have been a smear, but it wasn't. I got lucky. Now I'm just doing my vertical lines. I made a mistake. That's actually part of the house, but you wouldn't know that, so now it just looks like a very tall porch. Uh, yeah.
Actually, I can't have that. So what we're going to do, see what happened here? I don't know if you'll notice. But the front of the building is the front of the building. It sticks out there. That's actually all clapboard. And I drew it like there was a post, and I drew the tree going through there. So how am I going to fix that? Because that's supposed to be clapboard. Now what it's going to be is another little bit of a tree right there, and we'll see if we can make that work. We'll try. Putting the double lines in my windows right away. Getting tired of doing it in that direction, so now I'm going to do it in this direction. Go ahead and put the stripe in now. Mistake there too. I'm trying to do this quickly. What I should have done is put the stem of the tree, the trunk of the tree in. Kind of force it.
Once I'm done doing the stripe, any thoughts on what I should do next? What's that? Shadows. Shadows is exactly what I would do next. And after that I'd do a profile line and after that I'd add texture. And there's a reason why I would probably go in that order. Alright, so I got the stripes and now... Give me a second. I just want to get a white piece of paper. I will do this just to see if there's anything big that I'm missing and I'm okay. Shadows. You start with my diagonals. Sun's coming from up here, coming down here. I'm going to put a little, not really a double line, but a line and a half. And then on these, I'm just going to put a single line. So I want it to be a little thinner than that one. Okay, I've got my diagonals. I'm going to do my horizontal ones. Tops of the windows. Underside of this. Oh, I missed the one. Okay, now I'm going to do my verticals. So again, the sun's coming from here. This sticks out, so it's going to cast a little shadow. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm just going to put one about like that. We'll call that good to show that that pops out. Uh, for my windows, I'm going to take my thin Sharpie. And I am just going to... a little bit in the upper left. And I'm calling that good. More is a problem. Alright, next I'm going to do my profile line. And there, there's a method to this. I don't put the profile line through the trees. But I'm doing this order, and I'm doing my texture last, just going around the perimeter. Uh, 
I'm not doing the, around the perimeter any of the inside shapes yet. And I won't do them with a fat sharpie. But I do want to highlight them a little. Okay, so I've profiled the outside of the building. Now I want to somehow highlight that these step forward. So I'm going to do it with double lines. This poor triangle is so dirty I can't see where my lines are going. When you're doing the double line, the idea is to not make it as thick. Uh, if, if, you, if it touches, then it's just going to look like a Sharpie line. So you've you got to make sure it's a double line, not a twice as thick. You want it to be different than the profile line. building in here. I'm going to go ahead and make that profile. I'm go around the outside edge of this. All right, so the reason I did everything that I just did is if I got in a time crunch and I had to stop right now, even without the texture, it kind of reads and it looks sort of finished. All right, so now I'm going to go back and add the texture, which should make this thing pop out. Now, there's been, some of you are better at texture than the others, but I'm going to, let's start with the clapboards, and I, I want you to kind of watch how I do it. I aim for the corners. So if I'm doing the building, this is clapboard, that's brick, this is clapboard, this is clapboard. So let's start with the top. And you want to be loose with these. Now. Take a look at what I've done there. All right, I did the corners, because you can fill those out fast, but you'll notice it, it doesn't stop abruptly. It's not a real pattern. It, it's feathered off. And let's try it in this corner. So I'm going to do a little, a couple dots. Make this one long. Maybe I make this one just a little shorter. And then I come back. I'm going to just do this. I'm 
I'm not doing the whole thing. And you'll notice I never really go across the whole building with anything, which is fine. Um, I might, well, I do up here where it's little. But just go, texture is all about aim for those corners. I'm gonna corner up here. And remember to The common mistakes that I saw last time were, you know, some folks tried to put in all the clapboards, um, and, you know, the feathering of the texture is, you're still struggling with that a little bit. And it, once you get that figured out, it's going to be really helpful for you. Because you, you're going to apply it not only in elevations, but you'll apply it in perspectives and you'll find yourself doing it in plans too. All right, that's good enough. And again, I haven't done the whole thing. When I put my dots in, you know, I only do that. It's not like I'm, you know, going all the way across or going. I'm, I'm trying to put them down with purpose. I might do a long straight line and then a couple dots and space them out a little. Then I'll do a little line and a dot and then maybe another little line. And, and it, it's all about just trying to not have if I look at this, I can't really draw a shape around it. This I can. And it starts to read like a shape. This, yeah, I know there's a straight line here, but where is this? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? It, it doesn't have a real well-defined edge there, which is what I want. I want it to bleed off. So your eye is just going to kind of assume that it continues going. Next, we don't have much roof to do, but let's do this roof because people struggle with the roof a little too. First, halfway. That's it. Second, half of that and put the blot the little dewberries don't line them up you know alternate halfway and we got room for one more in there that's about it okay we don't stop there now we go we cut every one of those sections in half but we, we kind of use a line like this, maybe with a little dubri, but we don't go all the way across.
so by the time you get down there it's pretty dark that's a small roof so it, it's pretty easy to do I've got some bricks to do typically it's not unusual that you have a header course of these bricks meaning that they're standing straight up and down and the bricks are going to be a little closer than the clapboard I don't have to do all of them on this. Again, with the texture, I just want you to be thinking, make it as random as you can you go kind of loose with it you're going to try and space them a little closer than the clapboards but it, it's because they're so tight there's a real danger to making the drawing look black with bricks. So we definitely just want to hint at them here. I've got a bunch here. And then I just sneak in a few verticals on the brick. Just a hint. That it's brick. It's a subtle thing, but it does make a difference. Call it good. Um, now, I'm going to do my scale. What am I forgetting? Ooh. Hmm? The what? Oh, is that a louver? Look at that. That's not a window. Oh, it's the bottom one too. So it's a bo Let's do. I thought they were windows. Teach me not to read. Okay. I, all I'm going to do. It, it's now. If you want to be a hero, I will put all those individual louvers in, and I'm not going to try and shadow them. But if you wanted to, you could. If you put the shadow at a little angle, it kind of reads a little bit like louvers. I wouldn't get carried away with it. Um, oh, let me do the scale. There is no north arrow. Because you're looking at the side. This could be a north, south, east, or west elevation. We're just calling it the side. But there will be no north arrows on your elevations. Only on your plans. Calling it good. Um, and that was 
35 minutes. Oh, no, sorry, there's one thing we have to do. Wish me luck. I'm doing the Janelle line. And quite frankly, I kind of like it. Yep. I don't know how many more drawings I've got left in me to go public with. I'm not a young man, but if you see any of mine online and they have the elevation and they're hand drawn, chances are, Janelle, you're going to see your handiwork there. Um, questions from the group? <laughs> 